Okay, good morning. Today is 12 8 2020. This is part two of the cardiovascular circulatory system. Um, today uh, we will discover a couple of new pieces. We'll add to um, your notes from yesterday. So uh, let's start with coronary circulation. Okay. So, first bullet. Blood in the heart chambers do not nourish the myocardium, okay? The myocardium is your heart, okay? So it is nourished by um, some different uh, areas of blood, okay? All right, the heart has its own nourishing circulatory system, okay? Coronary arteries and cardiac veins, blood empties into the right atrium via the coronary sinus, okay? Which the only thing I really want you to know from this is that um, the heart has its own nourishing and circulatory system, okay? And I want you to research that, okay? So put a pin in that, put a star by it. Um, you will have some more information on that, okay? Cardiac pathology, inadequate blood, angina, uh, pec pectoris, not really important. All right, this is important, right? Intrinsic conduction system, okay? Intrinsic means that the heart has its own electrical system, okay? And we'll get more into that in just a second. The heart has its own electrical system, all right? Heart muscles, heart muscle cells contract without nerve impulses in a regular continuous pathway, okay? So nerve impulses are in your um, skeletal muscles. Those are nerve impulses. You have to have uh, an impulse to make my arm move or that. In the heart, it just runs, okay, off electrical circuit, okay? And we're going to get to this electrical circuit here in just a second, okay? So remember that it's an intrinsic conduction system, nodal system. Nodal meaning the SA node and the AV node, and which we're going to get to here in just a second, okay? These things you need to know. Special tissue sets the pace, SA node, which is a uh, sinoatrial node, short for SA node, it, it sits in the right atrium over here. The SA node sits in the right atrium right there, okay? It is a natural pacemaker. That is what it's called. You will see that on the quiz, natural pacemaker, okay? That's what makes the, the rhythm of the heart, okay? It's a natural pacemaker, all right? The AV node, or atrioventricular node, is the junction of right and left atria in the ventricles. Okay, so the AV node, so you have an SA node here, and you have an AV node that sits here. Those electrical impulses um, send out the signal from the SA node for the right atrium, or your atria and your ventricles to contract. Okay, all right, all this works in a rhythm. All of it works in a rhythm, all right? And you have a bundle of his. You need to put a pin in this. All this stuff right here, you need to put EKG by it. ECG by it. ECG, what, what's wrong with you? Yeah. There's some paper right there. You better write it down. All right. Okay. Okay, so make sure that you have all of these down and make sure you put a kind of a bracket here and then put ECG beside it or EKG because when we get to EKG, I want you to refer back to this part of your notes, all right, because it'll make EKG become a little more clear, all right? All right, so you have a, a SA node right here. This is your AV node. This is where they sit, okay? One sits here in, I mean, uh, they both sit here in the right atrium, okay? They send out the signal for everybody to contract, okay? So here is the SA node. Here is the AV node. Here is your bundle of his. Here's your bundle of his right here. Here are your pachyndria fibers. They go left and right, okay? Your pachyndria fibers go left and right, all right? So just know where these things are, okay? So 
So we're going to get off topic a little bit here. Um, let's talk about um, EKG or ECG. EKG, the difference is EKG is the old acronym. ECG is the newer acronym. Okay, that's kind of what everybody uses now. But the older people like me still notice EKG. You'll probably only notice ECG if you go to medical school or nursing school or what have you. Okay. Um, three formations. You have a P wave, a QRS, and a T. All right. And the SA node, the AV node, the Bukunji fibers, and the bundle of his have everything to do with this QRS complex. Okay. So let's move on here. All right. So you've seen this before on Gray's Anatomy or whatever. You've seen this little line that beep, beep, right? So this is your grid, right? This grid, these boxes represent time. These boxes represent time, okay? Now, the P here goes from here to here. That is what we call our PR interval. That is time, okay? QRS is time, okay? So we're talking about repolarization and depolarization. That is the contraction of the heart and the relaxation of the heart. Depolarization and repolarization, okay? Contraction, relax, all right? So this is normal. This is normal, P, Q, R, S, T. Those are things are normal, all right? So these will, can resonate with a job that you might get. Um, there's jobs in the hospital where you're uh, what we call a telemetry tech, or, and you're watching the monitor. And when you're watching the monitor, you need to know these things. So if you become a PCT and you apply for a job in the hospital, you may not get the job you wanted, but they may say, hey, we noticed that you're a PCT and you have some EKG experience. You kind of know what you're looking for. We're gonna, they're going to train you too, but it helps if you go in and you kind of already know some things that are going on. Okay? So when the P, that is the contraction, right? So if you back up here, this SA node, that's the P, because that's the initial contraction of the heart, right? So the initial contraction of the heart, Mr. Ashley, the initial contraction of the heart is here. You're going to contract. It's going to go from the right atrium to the, to the uh, right ventricle. This tricuspid valve right here has to open. There's a certain amount of time. Remember we talked about it? It opens and closes. It's only a one-way valve. So when it opens and closes, right, it's going to open and close, and it's going to shut. So when we're going to go let so much blood go from here to here, right? Now, if I let so much blood go from there to there, that blood, here's the P and the R. That blood has to go, has to get to one chamber to the next between the P and the R, okay? We got it? Because remember, the grid represents time. Now, I'm just giving you that tidbit of information. We're just talking now. That's not necessarily going to be on your test right now because you're not ready to get there yet. But I'm giving you some, some, some base and some background on where this is going and how you need to tie it all together. All right? So this would be a normal heart. Beep, 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 beep. That's a beat, right? This would be an abnormal ventricular fibrillation. That's when the heart, so to get blood around, you need the heart to do this, right? You need to do a full contraction, right? This one down here is just doing this. It's just quivering. So if it's just quivering, it's not pumping blood, correct? So what do we have to do? We have to take, you see those little Gray's Anatomy? They take those little pads, and put them on there, clear, boom. Okay, so we have to shock the heart back into this rhythm. Okay, so that's just giving you some, some base on, on where we're going with it. Not necessarily where we are right now. I just want you to know the anatomy of the heart. I just want you to know how this works. Okay, I just want you to know how it works. You've got to know how it works. You have to be able to visualize how it works. Remember... People make a lot of money because they know this. Okay? You got to know how it works before you can read, start reading things. Okay? All right?
So there's a couple other things I want you to watch. Um, you at home, I'll send the video that we're watching um, to you so you'll get the same information, but um, uh, we're not going to do it while, you're, while we're filming. All right, so um, that's it for the day as far as lecture goes, and I'll send you the video for you to interpret for yourself. Have a good day.